Hi everyone. I'm just going to do a little video today. Um, I thought I had more time, but then I had a little visit from my sister. So I don't have as much time as I thought I would. But I thought I could just do a nice little magazine video or catalogs really I've got been collecting catalogs um, it's Uno a la Volta and Wine Country Gift Baskets Stonewall Kitchen uh, Magellan's which is travel stuff then I have one magazine, Harper's Bazaar. So, what do we feel like? What do you feel like? Magazine or catalog? Mm -hmm. Gigi Hadid, she's pretty. I'll start with a catalog. Shasta's here. I don't know if you can see her, but right here and she's just uh, tap, tap. She's been licking her paws a lot lately she's getting kind of itchy just, uh, stop, stop. Stop, stop. <laughs> um, you can see her ear there we go hey, just, uh, get you cute get you cute say hello yeah good girl good girl good girl Got, you can see there's some Valentine um, roses I got for Valentine's Day. Just one here from my husband. So let's do, I don't know, wine country. That's kind of boring unless you really love wine. Which I'm not a big wine fan. They have these humongous baskets like this one's three hundred and fifty dollars and it's got oh my goodness more than fifty things it's got Godiva chocolates Ghirardelli lint chocolates it's got cookies crackers garlic pepper spread mustard dip dried figs cheese wedges pesto olive Tapenade, etc., etc. So basically, they're like a dozens of different collections. S many of them have wine, of course, but some of them are just goodies. Ooh, white and dark chocolate truffles, hummus, pesto olive tapenade. Cheddar cheese biscuits, coconut macaroons, chocolate almond toffee. I can see how you might be tempted. <laughs> Some of these are Christmassy. I think I've had this for a few months. Oh my goodness. This one is just cookies. Brownie cookies and cakes. Limoncello. That's good. So that is pretty much that gives you the idea. So we all done with that one. This Uno a la Volta I kinda like because mm, it's different says from the hearts and hands of artisans and the things you don't see necessarily in a lot of other catalogs there's and I like it because um, there's all different kinds of things in it. it could be clothes housewares 
jewelry. Um, this is Murano glass beads, which is red and gold, which I love that combination of red and gold. Uh, lots of jewelry here. Murano beads from Murano, Italy, of course which is um, near Venice. This little island that you take a boat there and it's just all known for it, mainly for its glassware. Glassware. Here's some scarves and hats. Wow, look at that. I guess it's a very fancy scarf. It says it's a black and gold sculptural scarf. It's from silk satin and silk organza. A striped design and twisting shape make this unique scarf a sophisticated statement piece. I don't know how they get it to curl like that. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Let's see. So a lot of this stuff is, you know, not what you call essential. <laughs> Good for gifts and things like that. Uh, here's a village ornament. More scarves. I like wearing scarves. I didn't ever used to, but now I like to wear one almost every day. It just helps keep your neck warm, and you can wear a kind of a plain top, like instead of buying a lot of prints, you can buy just like solid color blouses or pullover tops, and then have a selection of different scarves, and it adds color and it dresses it up and you can change it out to get different looks. So I'm now a scarf person where I never used to. These are alp alpaca. I don't really care for wool. It makes it itchy for one thing. Sticks. I guess this really is a Christmas. Um, yeah, I've had these for a while. I've been sa saving these to when I can make a video. So it's a lot of Christmas stuff still. Sorry to be outdated. You can watch it next December. Red and gold. Baba holes. Really pretty um, candlestick holders. Here's another necklace. Little angel ornaments, hand blown glass. Jewelry, I guess um, because it's a Christmas one, there's a lot more gifty things than they usually have. Here's some gloves and a little little handbag. Pretty porcelain. Let's see, Polish pottery. Delicate snowflakes, signature blue and white colors of Polish pottery. Each stoneware piece is shaped of native clay before carved sponges and fine brushwork are used to add the snowy motifs. Each piece is then glazed and high fired so that it may be cherished for years to come. Safe for oven, microwave, dishwasher, and freezer. It's kind of cute. I love little porcelain bowls for some reason. If I had tons of space, I'd probably collect stuff like that. And this is a cute little box. I don't know what it's for. What is it? C. Oh, sorry. 
this bag. Oh, it's part of the Polish pottery. It is a holiday house. Okay. It's a gnome and a holiday house. I don't know if it is, serves a function or not. It's just decorative, I guess. More blue pottery. There's more Polish pottery. My, I do have part, I am part Polish, which I didn't know for most of my life um, for some reason. But my grandfather, my birth grandfather, if you call it that, was from Poland, but he and my grandmother got divorced pretty early, and then she remarried an Italian man who kind of um, raised my mom and her sister, so I always grew up thinking all four of my grandparents were Italian, but, and I, I didn't know that my Mom's dad was not originally Italian. But he was Polish, so I guess that means I'm one fourth, one eighth, <laughs> something, one of those two, probably. Uh, Polish, so I should probably get some Polish pottery, right? <laughs> or learn how to make some Polish. There's actually a Polish cooking show that I discovered recently and I I set it up to tape but I haven't watched too much of it um, but yeah I should look into that unfortunately most of those people are gone so I can't find out too much more about him now this is pretty it's a night light with a cardinal on it Cardinals are so beautiful if you've never seen the picture with like a snowy, um, snow covered tree with some bright red cardinals in it. It's really beautiful. More red. I can see they have color themes to their pages. It was blue, now it's. These are different ornaments. These are from the Philippines. All kinds of glass. Oh, interesting. Mexican mosaic collection. Wow. Dazzling sterling silver jewelry is handcrafted in Mexico by arranging sparkling rainbow Austrian crystals into a layered design to accenting each pendant with dichroic glass eye-catching mosaics are created I don't know how much you can see the detail but it's pretty cool because it does kind of look it does look like a mosaic hmm. lipstick cases anymore because the lipsticks come in their own case, right? It's, it's an old-fashioned thing. The little goat. I guess it's a goat. This is also from Poland. Oh, it's a lamb. Okay, it's a lamb. These little magnets are kind of cute. And there's really colorful pottery. sun is now coming right in my eye, so I can't see very well. That's a cute clock. Bonita. 
Puerto del Norte. Oh, that's not the tuna. Forget that. More colorful pottery. This is more Polish pottery. We have a lot of Polish pottery. Here's some hat and a scarf. Seahorses. Another hat. More jewelry. So definitely feels different because it's a Christmas version. A lot of gifts. Nothing that really says you must buy me. At least not to me. Which is good. Just as well. Here's another. I'm very curious about this scarf, but unfortunately they are $139. So probably won't buy one, but I'm really interested in seeing exactly how they do that. Hmm. All right. Done with that one. Okay. Maybe the scarf will be on sale one of these days. Stonewall Kitchen is cookware mostly. And f um different foods like jams, things that are come in bottles and pickled like uh, here's pickled carrots, blueberry jam, olives, red pepper jelly, horseradish mustard you can get. Again, this is a Christmas one, so it's full gift, you know, uh-oh, Shasta's going to bark, I think I better stop right now, talk to you later, so I had to stop yesterday because Shasta started parking, and then uh, my husband came home, and anyway, Sorry for the break in the video, but um, I would thought I would finish it up today. So I was looking at this one, I think, when we left off Stonewall Kitchen. And let's see. I think last time I said that it was mostly um, housewares, but actually mostly food so lots of things like mixes um, I have a cinnamon bun mix pancake and waffle mix we've got really nice uh, wild mane blueberry jams and maple syrups and dipped pretzels They're from New England, I think Massa Massachusetts, they're in Maine, they're located in York, Maine, so they do focus on New England um, products, so we've got, and they actually went to one of their stores once when we were, took a vacation in uh, New England and it was pretty nice to see everything there. It's kind of pricey but they're really nice. Nicely packaged and they're great for gifts for like if you know someone misses New England or something. Um, gingerbread butter. That sounds good. Peppermint hot chocolate. Mold cider mix. 
so hopefully you're not hungry because <laughs> if you're hungry then this might not put you to sleep you might have to get up and have a snack let's see maple syrup lots of different flavors like here's lemon ginger marmalade pink grapefruit lemon pear mm, tangerine marmalade wow that's cool tangerine strawberry difference between jam, jelly, preserves, marmalade, and da, 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 da. I think those are the four main categories. So that is my quiz for the day. If you know without looking it up, you can put it in the comments. <laughs> okay. Waffle iron. We have a waffle iron that my dad gave us, but it sticks kind of badly, even though it's supposed to have a non-stick surface, but it might be because I don't follow the recipe really closely, so it was probably my fault. Wow, look at all the different flavors, my goodness. Mango peach, cinnamon pear, bada bing, cherry jam, fig and ginger, big jam, conquered grape, cherry berry, seedless raspberry. And I have um, nut butters, maple vanilla almond butter, chunky. So it goes on and on. I got some vinaigrettes, aioli, what else we got here? Syrup, raspberry syrup, that's interesting. They have cucumber dill, Bloody Mary mixers. This pepper, pepper do sriracha bloody mary mixer. I don't know what pepper do is. We have got mustard, pesto, Ooh. artichoke pesto, yum yum yum. All right, more dressings, peanut sauce. Here's some kind of Christmassy things. We've got some toffee, um, peppermint bark, almond toffee. We've got some fudge, it looks like, brownie bites. That's cute, a little lighthouse, gingerbread house, gingerbread lighthouse. Flavors of popcorn. I've got caramel corn, white cheddar, cracked pepper, sizzling sriracha, sweet cinnamon toast, sweet and salty kettle corn, tangy dill pickle, and zesty sour cream and onion. They all sound pretty good except tangy dill pickle. <laughs> I love dill pickles, like with a sandwich, but I can't imagine dill pickle flavored popcorn, but who knows, maybe it's good. And they have 
sat to pasta sauce, vodka, garlic marinara, truffle marinara, butternut risotto, and mushroom risotto, and ooh, tomato herb brisket. Urban accents, seasoning blends, mulling spices. Mm, what is this? These meatless must haves. Plant based meatless mixes. Mesquite chili, Korean barbecue, sweet black garlic, country breakfast morning wrap, classic. Honey sloppy joe and smoke and chipotle street taco. Well, I guess I must have this <laughs> cornbread mix. Now, cornbread mix, never buy cornbread mix because it's so easy to make. And I can make it like two minutes in two minutes. It's in the oven. That's how easy it is. So, if you want to know my recipe, um, just um, make put it in the comments, and I'll give you all my cornbread secret tips and tricks and techniques. Okay, pretzels. Oh, here's something that's not food for a change. These are um, lotions, hand lotion, essential oils, different scents. Got white pine, mulled cider, Maine woods, lavender mint. Grapefruit time, coastal breeze. I would like to get coastal. I wish they had sc scratch and sniff because you hate buying a lotion or something like that without you're buying it for the fragrance, but you have no idea what it smells like until you open <laughs> the, the bottle. Coastal breeze sounds really nice, but what is it really? Smells like sand and seaweed, maybe. Here's candle, cinnamon, spice, balsam woods, honey, vanilla. And then more crisps packages. That is Stonewall Kitchen. Then we've got Magellan's, which, as I mentioned earlier, was um, travel stuff. So, I think that's the only catalog I get that's specifically travel related. So they've got everything from clothing, bags, all different kinds of bags, sunglasses, scarves, little accessories like for your luggage, luggage tags, emergency alarms. Um, Crossbody bags, like for your security of your passports and things like that. They, a lot of travel clothes, which are nice because they're lightweight, and they don't wrinkle, so you can stuff them in your suitcase and just pop them out. Um, they you can wash at home, and they just drip dry without need any ironing. So. That's why it's kind of cool to get clothes from here if you like to travel a lot. Mm. Hip hugger security band. A mini alarm clock. Folding blankets, 
good for like if you're somewhere and you just need an extra blanket. They're really compact. Of course they've got luggage and all kinds of travel tote bags, organizers, neck pillows. Mm. Things for your credit cards. Excuse me. Um, sunblock. Traveling cosmetic holders. Lace compression socks. Okay. I haven't heard of those before. Portable chair folds into a walking cane. Now that. It's very clever because, gosh, a lot of times when you travel, you know, maybe you have to wait in line, maybe you're waiting for a attraction or museum, something like that, and you want to just be able to sit down for a spell. That's pretty cool. I mean, that could be convenient for a lot of different times, not just traveling, like any, t any time where you have to wait. <laughs> if you have to wait and you, and you get tired of standing up. Or like one time I went to a graduation and the whole, the audience was standing up the entire time. It's like, I don't know, an hour and a half or two hours. It was really tiring. So it would be great to have one of those. We've got belts and billfolds. Here's more clothing. The ultimate breathable sun sh shirt, SPF 30. I'm sorry for that clock. I hope that's not too loud. I might have to uh, edit that out. Bamboo knee highs. Okay, if you say so. I guess they're um, soft, breathable, and comfortable with arch support for everyday wear. Rayon, which is made from bamboo, nylon, and span. Lots of sock issues going on here. Cozy socks and compression socks to help support your legs from getting too tired. Folding canes, power chargers, camisole. Waterproof poncho. Mm -hmm. Parisian luggage. Our French designed luggage is updated with thoughtful features and functionality and offered in vibrant colors. Super lightweight and durable nylon with modern rubberized details. Reinforced framing maintains shape when not fully packed. Easy access front zip pocket. Fully lined interior with two zip pockets and compression straps. Four 360 degree double spinner wheels offer smooth effortless mobility. Lightweight telescoping handle. Top and side grab handles, top and side, mm, TSA approved lock, if you're not from the US, TSA is um, transportation, I can't remember, security, 
transportation security administration something like that it everyone learned what it was after 9-11 <laughs> because the, the uh, travel restrictions got very very strict after 9-11 so if you didn't know what TSA was before that you know after that it comes in the colors black navy bordeaux cobalt blue or khaki khaki however you say that and oh my goodness there's several sizes no there's three sizes 22 inch 25 inch and 28 inch so it's a cabin carry-on medium trip luggage and long trip Looks like they're pretty um, sturdy, good quality. They thought of everything. The 22 inch is $245, in case you're interested. Here's a passport and a ticket wallet. So it's designed, it comes in um, four colors, black brick midnight graphite, a pr oh, RFID blocking technology that prevents hackers from accessing the personal info chips in your passport and credit cards. Uh oh, she has to know, no barking, shh, 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 shh. no. No, I should have closed the curtains. Chata. Because I. No barking. No barking, dog dog. I washed her face earlier. It's still kind of. <laughs> it's kind of scruffy looking. Maybe I'll give her a little trimming. Alright, well, I guess I should stop pretty soon. My doggy says, I'm hungry. It's time for some soap. There's time to take a walk, probably. That's what she wants to do. So, it's a kind of a nice catalog if you like to travel a lot. Because you almost certainly find something that will come in handy and you might not even known have known it existed. I don't really travel a lot, but I like I like gadgets sometimes. <laughs> like I like the little um multi-compartment bags and things like that, double zip wallets, collapsible bottle, these are very handy if you need a drink all of a sudden and you don't have a cup or something, those are pretty cool. Blouse, crinkly textured blouse. Harper's Bazaar for another day because the magazine that could be a whole the whole video on a makeup